A barometer is actually the most important weather instrument because it helps you to predict short-term weather changes. The weight of the air above you is called air pressure. Barometers measure air pressure in inches of mercury or, like the rest of the world, in millibars. Believe it or not, the air molecules above you actually have weight. Because a home or building is basically an open system, a barometer is actually measuring both the indoor and outdoor barometric or air pressure. Air pressure changes normally indicate changes in the weather. High pressure areas and low pressure areas called fronts basically determine the weather. Changes in air pressure are what you need to pay attention to. Your barometer actually has two different hands or indicators. The black indicator hand always points to the current air pressure. The gold or constant indicator can be turned to match the current bar barometric pressure. This makes changes easy to see. A change to high pressure means good weather is ahead. A change to low pressure means bad weather is on the way. You can't change it, but at least you can be prepared. And I love this one. Air molecules in high pressure zones tend to flow to low pressure zones. This is called wind. Barometers are sensitive to altitude. If you took one with you and got into an elevator in a high-rise building, you'd see the hand move as you got to the upper floors. It's, it's impressive in kind of a geek sort of way. I've actually done it. Our barometers are factory calibrated. It's highly unlikely that you will be using your barometer at the same altitude as the factory. This is why your new barometer has to be calibrated after received. Any local television or radio station will have this information. You can calibrate your barometer during the local evening news. If you look on the back of our barometers, you will see a small brass slotted screw. Gently turn this in either direction, no more than one revolution, to adjust to the current barometric pressure reading. For example, if the weather uh, folks say it's 30.2 inches of mercury, then change the black indicator hand to about 30, then look for the little 2 and move the hand so it reads 30.2. If it's 29.5 inches of mercury, then go to the left and look for the 29, then the little 5. You have now calibrated your barometer. Turn the little brass knob and hand in the middle of the barometer face to match the black indicator hand. Now you will be able to see and predict short-term weather changes. I'm Mike Prossman for ClockParts.com. As always, you can call us at 888-827-2387 or visit us on the web at www.ClockParts.com. Thanks for watching.